Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where today we're gonna do Tainted Apollyon to the Beast. Because we already did a difficult thing this week, and that means we can now do easy streaks. Loki's horns, more like Loki's fly. I don't care for it. It's rare, I think, that I really want to make Loki's horns work. Maybe I should try to find more ways to incorporate it in my day-to-day -day life. Because it is, uh, it probably does have its uses, but more often than not, I just find it leads to confusion. Plus, I need to get these flies out of the way as quickly as possible before I inevitably forget how the character works and uh, I just stop using the item altogether. So, it's probably for the best that we get some stuff like that out of the way. There is 30 coins worth of good items waiting for us in our shop. We currently have zero, but we do have two bombs, so... There is some secret room potential. We could blow up a donation machine, but for the beast with tainted Napoleon, I perhaps don't particularly feel the need to bother. And as such, I will not. This will be the first recorded run of my day, so I'm um, hoping things are gonna go just swell so far. We are making it through this basement with relative ease, and I can appreciate it. We could leave a trinket on the first floor if we find one. Um, also, I guess we could skip item rooms. But on that, with this character, I actually don't hate going for item rooms uh, early, I suppose, just because I kind of like having some flies available. He is kind of a fiddly character if you don't have attack available, after all. The flies do help out a lot with early damage, so going into that first item room probably wasn't the worst thing. But I might skip the item rooms from this point on, I suppose, now that we have two flies already and potentially a third, depending on what our boss room is going to give us. If we get any tier raid, I'm probably just going to go for it, but anything else, I might just uh, turn that into a third fly instead. Mom's heal, stuff like that. Any range up. I don't particularly care for. The item that gives bombs and a black heart, I'm a little bit interested in, I suppose. And that's, that's roughly about it. The Duke of Flies, definitely no problem at all. We got five bombs we can work with as well. So if we really wanted to, we could just blow them up. But honestly, I think the damage we're doing here is probably more than enough. Look at him go. He barely even spawned anything, so that was very convenient. Yeah, that's too good. But, you know, if there was non-tier 8 items, I, I'd consider it. But that was... that almost doubled my tier 8, and... <laughs> it makes the flies less important, which is just really nice. It is appreciated. Um, Devil card... A lot of flies on this floor. I think blowing up the donation machine wouldn't even give me enough money to get anything of value. That's kind of nice. We could leave that behind on this uh, boss room right here. The super secret room could be next to the big room. It could be in a lot of places, actually, so I think I'm not even going to bother. We're just going to go. I'm going to leave this behind. And we're just going to take the soul heart and we're going to leave. I think this is probably good. I'm not sure where I want to use Devil. It might be useful for one of the bosses coming up. I'm probably not going to save it forever. But at the same time, it can be useful against the beast fight at the end. So, either way, will probably work. We're getting so many consumables, except for coins. But we don't need them. Uh, um... I was kind of hoping we could destroy that one close to a wall, but the rocks were in very awkward positions there, unfortunately. Again, I like all of this. The credit card actually makes the devil deals more tempting because you do get that bonus of uh, not having to sacrifice health and therefore still having the possibility of angel rooms whilst getting all the things for free in the actual devil deal itself. So, might check that out if we can actually find Three coins. <laughs> I mean, the, the odds are certainly in our favor, I would say, but... Ugh. Mm, that would be nice as well. If we can find any sort of flight like that, just makes it even more tempting to go check the devil deal, because if there is flight in there, then... There's so many things we'd be able to get rather easily as well. 
So I think that's exactly what we're going to do regardless. But I would love if we could have a credit card. I could, again, just blow up the donation machine. We'd get plenty of coins that way to deal with the monetary problems that we currently have. But it just feels kind of wrong to blow up the donation machine with a character like this. I, I just don't feel like it should be necessary. But if needs must, I suppose. Let's see what's in here. Nice. All right. That has solved our money problems. Deep Pockets is also in our shop, and I'm honestly fairly tempted as well. Uh, tinted Rock, but it would require a couple bombs to get there. Where is the secret room, actually? Because if it's not there, I guess it's the right then? I would assume. No. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Did I check below the item room? I guess I didn't. Or above it, rather. It's a good thing we got so many bombs. Even more of a good thing now if we want to get some of these things as well. Ah, troublesome. Fairly troublesome. I don't know. Um, I could honestly go either way. Like, part of me wants to use the credit card to just get everything in the shop. And part of me... I'll check out the Devil Deal. If there's nothing good in my Devil Deal, I can always just take this stuff for free, and that's pretty good. You think? No. Again, Super Secret Room? No idea. It, it, <laughs> it could be... Uh, it's probably next to that really big room. And I don't love that. It always puts it in kind of a precarious position. But with the bombs we have, why not give it a shot? There we go. Um, I mean, more flies, I guess. Blighted oven. If I had more bombs still, I probably just place the bomb down right now, and I'm still honestly tempted. But at the same time, as long as he's not running, it doesn't really do that much. That's even more tear rate. It just keeps giving me tear rate, and I kind of like having tear rate. Ah, uh, bad PhD. Um, mix all your pills, bad though. <laughs> Monster manual is kind of neat. This is a pretty terrible idea. All right. Um. Yeah, I think I know what we're gonna. Do here. We're gonna just do this and then do that. And then we'll move, move on. <laughs> it's it's kind of a strange choice at the end of the day, but I think it's probably the best one I had available. Plenty of red hearts on this floor at least, so hopefully we can actually retain that bone heart. I don't know if that was the best call. I do like deep pockets, but at the same time I'm probably not gonna need it. Like a whole lot, so eh, it'll hopefully work out either way. Take the devil, move on. Eh, that's not bad. We do have a lot of flies now, so that's at least something. Um, I have an idea, but I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm gonna try it anyway. Okay. <laughs> you could argue that that was a bit of a waste of a bomb given that I only had the one, but at the same time, kind of like having a full black heart to protect my now somewhat empty bone heart. So I don't, I don't really care. It's fine. I'm taking a rotten heart. I'm getting out of here. I'm taking three rotten hearts. <laughs> We're just going to go all flies all the time. This is the first Tainted Apollyon run where I actually remember that I have an, like, an item in the bottom right, so it's already just very exciting. I'm a little bit in two minds about actually taking the bottle of pills, like part of me did want to get the... Um... That worked out. <laughs> part of me did want to also just turn that into a fly, but I think it doesn't matter too much. Depending on what my pill pool is, of course, but... Since we don't technically have the bad PhD, that it's, a, it's at least something. We might get some kind of okay pills every now and then. The rotten hearts are giving us plenty of blue flies to work with. 
That's not a bad trinket. That is actually pretty decent in vulnerability time usually. So don't mind that. I could use a bomb for this. I will actually just blow up all the flames, I think. I could really use a lot more money. <laughs> Weirdly enough, not having deep pockets means we don't have deep pockets. It's well how that works. That's a fun trinket, though. Getting a lot of trinkets. Hmm. But I really like this trinket, so we're just going to go with it. I opened the door. I didn't go inside. I'm pretty sure that still counts as not having entered it for the sake of a planetarium. So it's all good. <laughs> I absolutely absentmindedly was about to walk into that uh, item room there, but I managed not to, and quite frankly, I'm proud of myself. Shot speed. Shot speed up. All right. Not terrible. Not sure if it affects the flies. Don't think it does. Cool. Holy card. Sure. Holy card. Why not? Again, flight would be nice. Uh, there is a number of pills that I'd like to be able to get. Also, there's some coins here that I don't really want to waste my holy card on. I think this trinket also, like increases the invulnerability time when you lose the holy card and uh, I decided to just show that off immediately uh, rather than having you wait in suspense but it does keep you uh, yeah safe for quite a while after you take damage so not bad at all not a bad trinket we're keeping that one speaking of keeping that one I should have kept that bomb because quite frankly there's so many places that are seemingly fairly obvious places that would be good for me. Pheromones. Pheromones pill helping out. Well, there is a bomb there. Uh, I could buy a bomb to go into my secret room. Don't love the idea, but... I mean, what, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Yeah, let's just do that. Because I'm pretty sure. Let me just double, triple, double check. Yeah, that, there's a decent chance. There's a decent chance it's over here. Plus we get to destroy Shopkeeper that way. And we have coins. Very nice. I'll take that. Blank card may be better, but... Because then we'd have a lot of devil card uses, and that would obviously be just Book of Belial, effectively, except for the extra devil deal chance, but I don't hate this idea. Don't hate it. Pestilence? Um, do I want to meet cube or bandage ball, or do I want one more fly? I like the safety. I do frequently accidentally get hit otherwise. But at the same time, we just got perfection for never taking damage, so... Let's, let's just do that. <laughs> I'm feeling confident today. I'm feeling good. I'm gonna go into my curse room and see what's up, because... Um, because I wanna. Nearly walked into the spikes. Kinda wanna get that money, actually, because that would put me on five coins and would give me, like, um... Good odds for an arcade room after that. Alright, fair enough. Didn't win much, didn't lose much, but now we know. Yeah, let's try. I mean, I... Anytime I do this, even slightly anxiously, I take damage, but perhaps today... Yeah. <laughs> perhaps today would be different, I hoped. The thing about the anxiety that, that spawns from those kinds of coins is that suddenly there's a there's a more important reason to get those coins than just, oh, I'll just get them. And that's usually where everything falls apart. But you know what? Fair enough. We need to get one bomb somewhere. Um, I'm hoping that with the options we should be able to get a bomb, but we do still need to at least get that or, a, or another type of teleportation to actually take the beast route uh yeah because otherwise it's that or delirium <laughs> and well, i mean technically we could go for delirium if we uh we're lucky i don't think speed wise we're gonna make it because we're not playing particularly fast probably should have gone for the sack there but eh. it's okay it's okay tears up nice that immediately makes me less tempted to start 
messing around with more pills that are unidentified, but at the same time... Why not have some fun? It's only a beast room with Tainted Poly, and there's not that much that can realistically go wrong. Uh, this is probably a bad idea. I'm gonna do it anyway, though. Mm, I should really just keep my bombs. <laughs> You'd think I'd learn, but there's a part of me that I just wants to use every bomb I come across. But we did find an arcade room, so there is that. In terms of positive messages, we got that going for us, and that's pretty sweet. The flies are helping out a lot damage-wise as well. Like, our, our damage stat, pretty terrible, but the flies, they're taking care of business. There's some keys there, maybe something else. Yeah, a syringe. <laughs> Carefully walk around that. I probably need the keys more. It is a thin arcade, but there is a blood donation machine. Actually, it takes a while before you can use it again because of the invulnerability. That's kind of interesting. There we go. Not the quickest way to make money, but it's a fairly reliable one. That moved my hearts around a bit. Now the rotten heart's no longer in my bone heart, which is not ideal. But eh, it's okay. It's all good. Everything's fine. We're just chilling. We're just having a fun walk. That's a luck up. Yeah. That's a bomb. Hmm. Once again, I'd like to get flight because <laughs> there's so many things. That we'd be able to grab that way. Burp. Nice. Tears up. Very good. Shot speed, sure. Actually getting kind of okay stats just from pills, so actually not feeling too bad about taking the pill bag anymore. It's working out. Um believe. Justice. Yes. Better choice. <laughs> Was hope I don't know what I was hoping for, but that's, I'd say, one of them. One of the things. We got two bombs. Hmm. Was hoping for some coins there, though. Not really. I don't really need the wooden nickel, admittedly, but I could then turn it into another fly. Which is kind of neat. Health down. Oh, that's not great. Okay. Moving on. Forsaken. Yeah, look at that damage. Once, if you can get all the flies to hit, that's actually so much. Admittedly, a lot of them just flew into a wall, but still. Um, let me come back to you. Uh, that's not super exciting. I would not spend health on that. That just seems wrong. Hmm. You know, I don't hate the idea to turn this into a fly. At the same time, I don't mind having health either. It's a tricky one. I'm gonna... Turn all my rotten hearts into nothing hearts, I think. And then just move on. There is probably a secret room next to this. There we go. Who needs flies? That's an instant five coin drop. Let's play both of these once. Nah. <laughs> Slightly hopeful for a second there, but unfortunately it did not pan out. Again, probably should not be using my bombs like this when I am still kind of in need of at least one. But I do not learn. I just go. I just go. There's probably a super secret room there. Ah, uh, yeah, I should. It's fine. <laughs> it's all good. My health is kind of low. You know what? <laughs> Actually, uh, could have probably gotten a few more coins out of that machine by healing up with uh, the health up afterwards, but bleh, let's just play it safe. Cool room. Again. Flight would have been nice, but... I think at this point we just have to accept that flight 
might not be in the cards for this run. We'll get it during the beast fight with Dogma. Then we'll have flight. So that's a pot. Regardless what happens, we're going to get flight. It's amazing. Health down. Good. Health down pill might be good if we get another devil deal, I suppose. So there's that. Keys are fine. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it might be worth. Flies, fortunately, fly over rocks. So in terms of spectral tears, we're effectively good as well. Does make life significantly easier than having to deal with rocks all the time, especially in these earlier floors. I say earlier floors as if I'm not in the depths currently. Ace of clubs, finally. Finally, some bombs. Just need to find a big room now, and then we have many bombs. Ah, Callus is not bad. It does protect against creep and things. Spikes on the floor, whatnot. Well, this is very scary. I don't like this room at all. <laughs> that went pretty terrible. I was kind of struggling to kill anything there. It just wasn't happening. Mm. Red candle might be good. Mm. How good is red candle? It is pretty great. Honestly. Compared to what we currently have... Probably better, for sure. But do I want to get rid of my pills? Because it is it has been interesting, at least. I do like me an interesting room. I still feel like whatever happens, I'm probably still going to be okay, as long as I can just kind of keep my health at an okay spot. Even with what we currently have. Verp? Uh, that's shot speed, right? Eh. Oh, right, I took a health down pill. <laughs> Whoops. Unidentified. Pretty fly. More tears. <laughs> I think most of the tear rate has been from pills as well. I should also blow up a tinted rock whenever I see it, I suppose. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm not feeling like I'm particularly in trouble. That's a lot of bombs. Ooh, Soul of Eden. That's exciting. Tower card as well, that's also pretty good. Especially since we did just get a bunch of bombs. There's a tinted rock there, there's a tinted rock there. That's a small rock. Yeah, this is pretty great. <laughs> this is a pretty good room. I'd like more of these, please. The speed down is, is killing it for me. I don't know. I, I don't have any other damage up is the thing. I should probably just take it. Don't love it. Not exactly married to the idea of a small rock, but it, uh, I mean... At this point, a damage up is probably better than not having a damage up, I suppose. Plus, apparently, it's a little bit of a tear rate up, according to the item description. Hierophant, sure. <laughs> just... Give me all the hearts in the world, I don't mind. We'll come back to our run after a brief pause to deal with the fun challenge room. How many challenge rooms have I done this run? I've, I'm really, I'm sort of zoned out, I'm not gonna lie. This is not exactly a run where I'm full focus paying close attention to anything that's happening. Which might be obvious by watching, but... I'm just sort of having a, a time. <laughs> I'm just walking to the beast and then hopefully win at the end. But I feel like we've done a decent number. Yeah, we got so many bombs now. Speed up. Shot speed down. That's about... that's pretty good. <laughs> Given that I just got a speed down, the speed up is uh, appreciated. Honestly solved the main problem I have with taking uh, the thing in the first place. It would have been bad if that was an experimental pill speed down. Hello. Um, let's see if there is safety scissors anywhere on this floor. Because that would be kind of funny, but I think we've run out of floor to check is the thing. I do want to see it blow up because it is, you know, quite the sight at the end of the day. It's 
surprised I didn't take damage from that, but I'll take it. <laughs> you don't often see a Giga Bomb, so you know, you gotta you gotta look at them when you can. You don't have to, I suppose, but I don't hate the idea. Is there anything else I want to do on this floor? I probably have forgotten something. Let me check my shop one more time, because I feel like there was something good there, and I uh, sort of... Yeah, I ate the red candle. Uh, I don't know. We got good pills. We're in a good place. We don't need the best thing. We got flies. Actually. Huh? I know what I'll do. I'm gonna buy the candle anyway. Af mm, actually, there's a battery there. Oh, let me do that. And then Abyss, and then we'll do that. And then we'll just move on, and that charge my bottle of pills, and not Abyss. <laughs> I hate how that works. I don't care for it whatsoever. Oh well. At least we got another pretty fly out of it, I suppose. War. I mean, I guess I don't hate having a meat cube or bandage ball, I guess, but... I was... I, I, at this point, I might actually have enough flies to be like, you know what, I'll take the extra protection instead. Especially with the two pretty flies as well, like, that's gonna actually be pretty... Okay. Cool! Onwards we go. Remember to get the teleportation thing in this floor. I might just drop Soul of Eden here. Just so we don't forget. And we'll just happily move on. With what is probably the biggest amount of flies I've ever had with this character now that I've finally had a run where I remembered pressing buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Worf. Full health. I was kind of hoping for telepills there, I'm not gonna lie. It would have probably placed me in the boss room and ended the run, but it would have been cool if it didn't. I say probably as if that's the guaranteed result. It, it obviously isn't, but I mean, it, it certainly could happen. The odds are low, but it's the, one, it's the kind of thing that just happens where you don't want it to. <laughs> It's okay. I was gonna say, let's get to 15 coins. I guess this actually lets me go a little quicker. Nice. Very good. There is our teleportation. Everything's just kind of working out right now. I appreciate it. Just need to not accidentally use this full card, and then we're pretty much in the clear. If we can find a shop, that'd be kind of nice. I'd love to be able to carry two cards. Um... And also have that Soul of Eden. There is our planetarium. I'm gonna definitely find our shop now in case we get a glowing hourglass in there. I might also just check out the item room, I suppose, since we are at 81% chance. And maybe I won't need a plan like a, another planetarium, but let's first deal with our shop shenanigans. I really didn't even try to dodge that one. I honestly didn't. <laughs> there we go. I could just deal with the boss first, I suppose, since I don't really have a reason. Well, I guess I could increase my Devil Deal and Angel Room chances a little bit before doing that. Not a bad idea. Uh, probably should have gone with the Eternal Heart. Don't care that much, though. It's all good. 16 bombs. Max tier rate. Mom's key. Sure. Alright. Let's go fight a boss and then uh, go for a little journey across this floor. It's very windy outside. I don't know if you can hear that, but geez, it's uh, as, like actually so loud. <laughs> that currently has my focus more than anything going on here. I don't know, I feel like the runs where I don't pay full attention either go sort of incredibly or just terrible. And I feel like today is just one of those days where I can just sort of mosey along, not get any devil deals, pull card out, call it a day. You know, it, it's just sort of working out, and I appreciate that. 
Not too much concern, not too much worry. We're just going for a walk all the way to the end of the run and seemingly my hands seem to be doing the trick today, so <laughs> good enough for me. It's only a beast run at the end of the day as well, so it's not particularly difficult. Tainted the Polyon is just fairly strong regardless, so that doesn't really matter either. It's all just sort of working out. Just having a day. And it's nice. I'll go to that planetarium when I need to. For some reason I am... I don't know why I'm not actually. I should actually uh, just go there in case I want to abyss it. Because now I actually have to make choices. Oh well. Um... I mean it is good. I've said plenty of times how good this is. Uh, and if I haven't really changed my mind. <laughs> so let's just uh, take it. This, on the other hand, I'll do that. Probably didn't need... I mean, it's not a bad baby. It does give you a decent number of pills. Like, this is just lovely. Uh, unless they both just really don't want to work with you, I suppose. But generally, Venus is just good. That's good enough for me. Where is my secret room? Is it next to the planetarium? Is that the only place where it can be? That or a weird spot? Yeah. Red heart. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's just leave. I'll just keep what we currently have. Oh, get a little bit more money. Sure. One more. Get a little bit of my health back. I should have done that first. <laughs> That's actually quite a lot of uh, coins that I got from that, but oh well. I could have looked for the originally opened entrance as well, but you know, I've made choices at this point and I'm just going with it. Let's go. And then on the next floor, things are going to be great. I don't think I have a way to use Abyss on the blood thing, unless there is a battery in my shop. I am not going to check. I am not interested. Just not interested. We're just moving on. It's a moving on kind of day. Let's check the curse room once again, because I feel like that's been working out okay so far. Look at that. We could have done a whole run without knowing that was in our pill pool. Would have been terrible. Would have been pretty much unplayable, so... That extra information has saved the run, I'd say. Um... Can I do this? No. Like, I know what you're supposed to, like, lure the, the thing into the thing, but I just don't... <laughs> just don't feel like it. You can use the red poop to bounce it all over the place. You can also just walk diagonally for a little bit. And honestly, that's good enough for me. I did not know you resurrected those. That's not very cool. That's not very cool at all. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Admittedly, I would know later, but... Again, we're making choices. We've made choices that may not be optimal, but they're certainly the ones that my hands are making right now without putting any thought into it whatsoever. That's good enough for me. If it makes it to the end, what can you do? Queen of Hearts, that might actually be better than anything we can possibly get. Kind of. Like, at the point where it becomes relevant, it kind of stops being good. Thinking about it, because it, it's going to become relevant around the time that we're going to fight the beast. And at that point, all those hearts are just going to fall on the floor into the lava. So maybe, maybe we'll just use it in that room and just move on instead. I think most of the enemies I can probably just kill by just sort of waggling. Uh, and the flies will eventually take care of it all, but... Eh. Where's the fun in that? Though with these... <laughs> these don't move that much if you're not on the same plane as them. And then there's that enemy over there which I really don't want to deal with, so actually, yeah, waggling. Thinking about it a little bit longer, the conclusion is, yeah, waggling. Without a G at the end, it's like waggling with a little apostrophe. 
And it's working. There we go. Okay. Uh, that makes me wish I used the Queen of Hearts in a different room. <laughs> but it's fine. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit. Gonna get rid of all of our red hearts, I'd say. Feeling very blessed today, that's good. There was a lot of red hearts in that room. But for now... Oh. Um, Hmm. <laughs> Does re-roll it into a random pool? That's my own choice, I suppose. Didn't expect to get an item that quickly. But Bursting Sock ain't terrible. Uh, let me come back to you. Honestly, the red... Uh, that's not good. The red chest, little tempting, little exciting. Might be more... It might just teleport us to an angel room. Might also be terrible, though, but at the same time. It's okay. Might also just be a guppy piece. Which is probably better to take with me than uh, the, the pill bottle, but... I have a theme going on in this run, and I'd like to stick to it. So we're good. Uh, buttons? Yeah. <laughs> when in doubt. Just say buttons with a question mark and hope for the best, and sometimes it works out. I actually have so much tear protection with all those things flying around us, it's wonderful. Don't need steam cell, we'll come back to that. There is no longer really a thing that I'd like to purchase. These enemies are all probably just gonna Venus into each other if I let them. Yeah. <laughs> I could, but I lost interest somewhere. Ah, uh, this is a little spooky. This room actually puts you in kind of a nasty position. I don't care for it. Health down. Cool. Verp. Which is shot speed. Nice. Very good. I wish we had a regular PhD. That would help us out actually a fairly significant amount. Just for the sake of all those health down pills probably becoming health ups. And then we could just sleep in the bed at the end and be at full health regardless when we reach the dogma fight. That would just be pretty cool. It just unfortunately didn't quite work out that way. Doesn't matter much, admittedly, but it would have just been neat, you know? Death's fate is a little tempting. Let me think about it, because I think the trinket I have right now is probably one of the best ones I could get. Death's faith is more like a novelty kind of thing in terms of interest. But, I mean, it is a, it is quite the novelty at the end of the day, you know? So, if we can keep those flames alive, it is probably an okay amount of extra damage that we're getting. Huh. I wish I still had that Hangman card. Verp and Tears Up. Sure. I mean, it doesn't really deal that much damage when I walk over these spikes. Kind of wish I had Callus, I guess. Uh, let me just deal with this. <laughs> there were perhaps different ways that could have been dealt with by pressing this button and then this button and then doing this. But you know what? Sometimes a bomb works. You gotta go with those thoughts sometimes. Just be like, you know what? Let's not make this too difficult. Let's just place one bomb and call it a day. I don't know where my secret room is. There is a, a chance it's next to uh, something or another. Like to the top right near the shop or something like that. I'm pretty sure I bombed this correctly. Yeah. Didn't know that would blow up the bomb, actually, what happened there, but fair enough. Uh, that deals a full heart of damage, eh? Hey? Genuinely wasn't sure, but I, now I know and I'm not happy about my choice. Well, mostly because we didn't get anything, admittedly, but still. It cannot be next to a super secret room, so that, that, that was not really an option. This might work. Yeah. Cool. Am I going to go for novelty or am I going to go for just winning? Because quite frankly, this run has been exceptionally average. And you know what? Let's just stick to that. 
Let's just keep this run breezy. Just get over it. No thoughts. Just a nice casual run to the end of the game. Oh god. Where I accidentally run into an enemy because they exploded a little bit too much. It does happen. Probably not gonna require red hearts. That's my hope. Ooh. There we go. Less shields, please. Horf. Sure. Up. Up. <laughs> that was not great. That was not a great aim shot. I'm not gonna lie. I have aimed a shot better in my life. I am not proud of what happened. My deepest and sincerest apologies. I don't know. I was kind of shooting, trying to shoot diagonally and then realized what game I was playing, I think, halfway through that idea. And it just didn't work out. <laughs> it's weird how that goes. Nah. We are at least going to get an extra life at the end of all this, so that's good. No real reason to dilly-dally. I forget which item rooms I still need to visit. I know I visited the very first one. I know I opened one but then didn't go in it, so that door is probably unlocked still. But we had like an 80% chance, so anywhere between like depths 2 and depths 1, I think, and then... Caves, caves, basement? That sounds about right. Brainworm. Does that work with flies? I actually don't know. Let's see if it... Mm, I'm gonna say the answer to that is almost certainly not, but it would be cool. Let's just blow up some things here and there while we're at it. Mmm, justice. One red heart awaits us. Not bad. It would be kind of funny if I died now, but like not really funny, but I, it would probably get a chuckle from me at least. I mean, that does also... <laughs> that one also kind of caught me by surprise, I'm not gonna lie. Makes it a little bit more scary than it needs to be. I'm gonna... Not take brainworm, I think. I think brainworm's good in most instances, but I think the invincibility time you get for this trinket is just too strong to pass up right now. So let's just go. He's self destructive and disturbed, just like his father. Look at who he has to look up to. Look at who he has to look up to. Shut up! Shut up! Hmm. Just keep pushing me like this. I'm leaving. Good. Please! We'll be fine without you. It's rare that I get an interesting fly. <laughs> it's definitely not the right call, but it's... You know... You gotta, you gotta go with your heart sometimes. There's, there's, they're all red flies. I gotta have one at least be kind of interesting, you know? Plus, then we just got a bunch of health anyway. But I'm curious to see how hard it homes. Oh, that home's pretty hard. Yeah, not bad. It's a shame it's only one. <laughs> But still, that's... I don't hate it. Yeah, let's just move on. Upside Down Empress, I think, gives me like two heart containers and tear rate or something like that, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly that. <laughs> Actually, remember the thing. I'm starting to remember what cards do after thousands and thousands of runs. How nice. Please just... Die in the distance somewhere, but preferably on screen. Very good. Very nice. Bab bab. We're probably not going to get conjoined. We probably could have gotten conjoined, though. But that's a little bit of a shame. But at the end of the day, you know, it's okay. Nice and short floors as well. Where is that battery? Oh, there it is. Mm. Let's get that one. Let's get that one. I got that one. My last pill was Horf, right? Uh, can I do anything fun with that? Oh no, it was Hematemis. Yeah, I am. That's not Horf at all. That's a bad time is what that is. We're not dealing with bad times here. Good. <laughs> 
cleanse your you soul. You are insane. But you are taking this too far. Did you hear how you sound? Sometimes you just gotta let the game do commentary, you know? Not worry about things too much. I think I'm probably not gonna get the crack key at the end of this run. I think I'd rather have the Empress. That's probably just gonna be better. So, you know, nice that we could leave it behind at least. So that, that's something. Nice to get the option. Not dissatisfied with that. Venus just insta-killed a whole legion of enemies there, so that's also nice. I'm pretty sure we haven't visited the item room on this floor. Can I bomb out of this? Yeah. Never quite sure where you can and cannot bomb once you reach weird floors. I know like in the in the chest in the dark room you can't bomb through things, but then in the in the void you can and it's all just a little odd, isn't it? Horf. Nah. You know what? I kinda wanna hit with the Horf at least once. So let's just do that. Eh, there we go. We did it. S won the game. <laughs> Hey, Mark Tears! Hey! Cool! This is probably by far the most flies I've ever had with this character, and it's just because this is the first time I actually remember to press the button repeatedly rather than only in the first few seconds that I run. Uh, at the same time, it's rare that. I guess I'm not, like, super overpowered with this character, because that has been happening a lot. And uh, that does change how things go at the end of the day, I suppose. Uh, probably not. Was hoping for maybe one more item that way, but perhaps it was not to be. Interestingly, we could still just uh, take the card anyway after opening the chest, so fair enough. I guess because we opened it with a bomb or something like that. It is a little bit weird about stuff like that sometimes. Hmm. I mean, not that, but... <laughs> bag of crafting? That's exciting. I'm curious if I could get enough things in the bag from this point on. Because this this guy's probably not going to give me that many consumables. It can't give me rotten hearts, which are, uh, in terms of putting things in the bag or crafting, not great. But it's, it's an item. It's a consumable at the end of the day. Uh, God, I really could have easily gotten conjoined this run. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna take that, that's not too bad. I'm actually gonna re-roll this, uh, against my better judgment. Just gonna touch that for the five bombs. No. Ah, oh god, I could've gotten conjoined so easily. <laughs> there have been so many parts of the conjoined transformation. This, on the other hand, I can very easily put inside my thing. Also, didn't mean to pick all that stuff up. Huh, it actually says what you're gonna create as well. Even though it's not the standard bag of crafting. It's the actual active item one, which I thought worked a little different. I'm curious if this actually works. Uh, like, does this actually create a glass cannon? Yes! Huh, fair enough. That, that mod has gotten somewhere. <laughs> not bad. I'm definitely, I should touch the glass cannon because I'm genuinely not sure if I ever have. Because <laughs> it's such a, it rarely shows up and even when it does, I rarely want it to begin with. So it's just, uh, it's just a weird item in it. Venus pretty much taking care of business there. I say as I get bombed on the head. Anything's nice. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, seven, eight. Let me just put you in the other room as well. I'm really not even paying attention to what I'm crafting as well. I'm just making things right now. If any of it is good, then I'll take it. <laughs> but if I can just put a whole bunch of active items or something like that in one room, then I'll happily turn all of that into flies afterwards. Why not? One. Fortunately, didn't manage to grab two things there. Can I grab this? 
Nah, barely not. That's a shame. I'll still get it, though. But yeah, interesting. I, I really... Because you can't really move the items around either, so I, I'm guessing actually crafting what you want is going to be fairly tricky. But it's nice that it is actually is still a pretty good item, then, if you are very careful with it. <laughs> it's definitely going to take some practice to use properly um, in a run. And especially compared with the regular Tainted Cane, of course, because he just gets a lot more options with it. But not bad. Not bad at all. Am I going to give him more money? Not sure. Thinking about it. There we go. And then one more consumable. Uh, I never actually... Uh, I never actually abyssed this, I just realized. Which doesn't matter too much, admittedly, but it's kind of a shame. Kind of a shame of the old item room. At the same time, we got bag of crafting out of it, so it's, it's at least something. That's okay. That's no. Oh, I can't put that in my bag. <laughs> that doesn't work. Certainly not a bad item by any means. Actually, kind of curious how this would work with this uh, rotten beggar. There we are. Take all my money, give me many friends. I'm assuming I'm probably not going to need money from this point on. Uh, <laughs> so many times I've accidentally almost walked into that, huh? But that's okay. What do we got? A box. Um, I'll take that, actually. Ah, oh god, the mod is really in the way. <laughs> uh, six, and then there's one more Rotten Heart in there, so let's just abyss that. Two more flies, we can get some more consumables in basement one. And then we'll be on our way. Can you accidentally walk in there? Let me at least try. No, with the movement speed I have, I actually, I'm just going through it. That's good. There we go. One item from the get go. D20. <laughs> Honestly, not a bad deal. Let's see if we can get some coins out of this. Mm, kinda. <laughs> if we wanted to take the damage, but I don't think that's really worthwhile. I'm sorry, Isaac. I am just grabbing things willy nilly. All the spiders are my friends because of the bursting sack, so that's nice. Everything's just sort of sort of working out. I mean, my health wise, health wise, I could be at a little bit of a better place for sure, but other than that, it's pretty great. I should maybe use the D twenty once, I guess. And especially if there's a room with just a bunch of consumables inside it, mm, you might have some. Can I hit you from here? Probably, right? Yeah. That's probably better than <laughs> anything that I'm going to get from the bag of crafting. The rooms here have been honestly so kind as well, and I'm not sure if I should have said that, but it's working out. Golden wishbone. Pretty cool. Don't get to see that many golden trinkets, so it's exciting to see it whenever. Can I not destroy this barrel with flies? I guess not, huh? I was trying pretty hard there. <laughs> that wasn't quite working out, unfortunately. This build's so weird. It, it <laughs> barely has any stats except for tier rate. And just a large quantity of flies, but it's working out. It's working out. Please stay in the corner, it makes it a lot easier to deal with you. Not really doing much, surprisingly enough. And somehow avoided all damage, mysteriously. Um, let me just do that. Maybe one more coin? No. So I should have abyssed earlier. Because uh, <laughs> uh, now I ended up just not really doing anything with this D20 instead. Um, I guess what I could do 
is do this, turn that into a bomb. And then Abyss two things. And I think that's probably the most I'm gonna get out of it anyway. Ah. Uh, I think I'd rather have the black heart, you know? Let's go just see what's uh, we can always use Abyss on the item in in the, the end room. There is at least going to be one item in there, so it's something. I should have picked up all those bombs with my bag of crafting. <laughs> ah, it's okay. It's okay. This run was never about making good choices. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let's actually check this room first. Huh. Four more coins there, so I wouldn't be able to create one more item with that, so we can quickly check out what's over here. I'll touch it for the transformation. Place that down. <laughs> um, and I'll just take that. And yeah. We turn fly into a fly. Very nice. We have an army. We have good health, decent build, good times all round. Dogma, I'm kind of assuming, is just going to end up destroying himself as he often does when you have any kind of charm effect. I'm hoping that's going to be the case today once we reach that next form. But it's always a little bit weird. <laughs> it never fully feels predictable. It just kind of happens sometimes. Cool. Ah, I just walked into that. Didn't expect it to stay around for that long. But that's okay. But I think I basically need him to fly into me when he's doing his circly attack, and then he just sort of dies. That's usually how it ends up going. So I'm kind of trying to stay away from him so Venus doesn't activate. And then we can just do this. That was not very well done. Oh god, my movement speed's so bad. <laughs> oh, my movement speed is not the best it's ever been. Oh, yeah, he's not. Dogma's not caring too much about me right now. That's okay, though. The flies are doing enough work here. I would argue the purple fly seems to be flying in circles, because I think he's aiming at the TV. Who's already dead? <laughs> so, good, good stuff. But hopefully, it doesn't get so confused during this fight at least. Probably gonna use Mom's bra um, on the second part of this attack. Because this boss kind of scares me at times. And then the next one I don't care about too much. Go. Does this work? No. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Alright, cool. Very nice. Let's just not take damage. Well, now we know. I probably have known that in the past as well, but now we know it some more. It kind of sounds like... A guy from Plants vs. Zombies. That's a thought I haven't had in so long. I haven't had to think about Plants vs. Zombies in... God knows how long. I think my last Plants vs. Zombies related thought was either about Garden Warfare, which is surprisingly okay, all things considered, or about how I think the PC version still isn't in widescreen, which is unfortunate. Because then I gotta get my Xbox 360 to get the best Plants vs. Zombies experience. <laughs> and uh, quite frankly, I don't know where that is. Probably in the closet somewhere, just slowly fading away. As with all old technology eventually tends to happen. You can tell that there's a lot going on in this fight given the tangent that I've gone on to relating to Plants vs. Zombies of all things. <laughs> but I'm just I'm just not concerned in the slightest that there's just not that much that I feel that can go wrong. I think if we just tank everything from this point, we're probably still going to be mostly okay, so, yeah. Flies occasionally are just 
million miles off screen, but that's like my biggest concern right now. And I just got hit by that, which is not great. But I'm guessing this is about... He's probably gonna die before he uh, does his next couple of attacks, right? Maybe? Yeah, there you go. Oh, nice. Just one boss remains. Two if you count phases, I suppose. Should have been shooting up for maximum damage efficiency. That's my ban. Again tempted to try Mom's Bra in a second to see if it does anything, but I guess given all the enemies in the game, I, it wouldn't be too weird if this didn't work. It does work. Which is somewhat surprising given that the beast I think is meant to be kind of a representation of Mom. So I'm a little surprised it didn't work against the horseman, but does work against the beast. <laughs> But who am I to judge? I'm just here thinking about plants versus zombies rather than trying to survive this clearly very tricky fight. Let's just use this. Watch it give me like the tainted Magdalene unlock because I use this card. <laughs> and I feel like it's gonna speed it up at least a little bit. And I get it to wear a cool wig, so at the end of the day, I'm a winner regardless. Yeah! We did it, everyone. We got Echo Chamber, which is actually... It used to be really good. I don't know how good it actually is anymore, but... Uh, it's an interesting passive item for sure, so I probably should have done that years ago, but... There you go. It's another Tainted the Polyon thing done. It was... Uh, I'd, I'd argue... Unremarkable. <laughs> it took an hour somehow, and uh, quite frankly, it's all already a blur to me. So, hope you all enjoyed it. Next time we play, we'll be doing another one with a different character, and I hope to see you all there. Bye bye.